and welcome back to Let's Play the Nemesis Ocarina of Time with the Blades of Gaming. Last episode, we started the Big Orange Sword side quest. In this episode, we're going to continue that. Just decided to meet you guys back in Lost Woods. That was our next step. You see here, that guy is gone. There's a girl here, though. That guy isn't here anymore. And anybody who comes into the forest will think it's lost. That would become a stealth host. Everybody's stealth host. So he's not here anymore. That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become a stealth host. Everybody's stealth host. So he's not here anymore. Only his saw is left. That medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Give it back. She gives us the poacher saw. Now we need to go to Gerudo Valley. And this is one of the reasons you need to be able to do this. Hear that laugh? That was a big pop. Another red rock over here. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave it night time because it's actually a gold skull skull that I can get here. So. Um, but the reason the opponent is because this bridge is out. And you can jump it. Very awesome. Gold Skulls was back here. And then my shot. For day. Wandering Running Man, I run all over this land in search of comp competitors who have a true killer instinct. I came here to run through the haunted wasteland, but it doesn't look like good timing for that. But I want to go back to Hyrule Field. The bridge is, well, you can see it from here, so I'm stuck here inside this tent. I don't think I can accept your challenge right now. Um, so I guess you can race him. Not sure. <laughs> Hey, that saw, it's mine! But I thought I left that saw with my old lady. Oh well. My bigger on too tool broke, so I was going to Goron City to get it repaired. Your coming here is great timing. Will you give me my saw? Yes. Good kid, thanks. I'm sorry that I can't give you something as good in return, but take this anyway. You traded the poacher saw for a broken Goron sword. Visit Bigger on to get it repaired. I don't know how he managed to break the strongest sword in the game, but he did. Um, because it is a sword held, it's not a tool. What a tool is it? So he's headed back to Goron City. Love that! So awesome! Now, 
I might as well just warp again. Um, so I'm going to be opponent by Zora's domain. Because that's where she needs to be for this. Almost never works. Try by that fence is hard. I think it's, just a, it's an uphill like ride, so they probably won't jump at it at all. I mean, sometimes she will, but more than often, more often than not, she won't. No turn. Now we're gonna warp um, up to the top of the fountain, or to the fountain crater. earlier his eyes were perfectly fine. Now I can talk to him. He's gonna complain that his eyes are messed up. My brother opened a new store. It's Mega Megaron's Blade store. However, I am a better at making blades. I'm gonna talk to him. If you target him and give him this, that broken knife is surely my work. I really want to repair it, but because of yesterday's eruption, my eyes are irritated. There are fine eye drops in Zora's domain. You will find them if you go to see King Zora. Please go get the eye drops. Yes. Let me get the prescription. I'm gonna go back in here. Um, and use the, uh, I can have shot to that. It's too far, I think. Yeah, it's too far. Dang it. Yeah, I can't make that jump. Oh. Well, shoot. Alright. I guess I'll walk in then. I was gonna use the, uh, warp to go to Zora's domain. I still could. Oh wow, I thought, okay. Well, I'm just falling out of things all over the place here. There we go. You can't jump off the top of that cliff and just land down here and fall this floor. It's one of the cliffs that are really, really high. Why did I fall off last time? Couldn't have held forward there. If I had held forward, I would have gotten up inside again. Now, this is arguably not the fastest way to do it, but I'm just going to do it this way. This is how I always do it. Um. It's ripped below me.
Oh, uh, I think I want to go this way. No, other way. Let's do that. There we are. You see it's snowing. Yep. Can I reach it? No. Crap. I seriously can't climb that? Oh wait, okay, good. I was trying to stand up the fence because I can't reach it from the ground. I have to play this, so that's not the uh, song. Yeah. <laughs> can't talk today. Get, no. Stop jumping. Seriously. Just get on the fence. Alright. Fun song. No time. I'll just appear before your eyes. I can just barely reach it. I'll play something I can reach that. Okay, good. Four? I can track of that. Or should be. Alright, tell us a little by. I have to do the ice hammer to do this. Oh crap. I could have blocked blue fire, but no, I have to do the ice cavern. <laughs> oh god, um... But I really want the sword first. As you can see, the sword is the main is frozen over. I didn't buy any blue fire. King Zora is frozen inside red ice. I forgot about the ice cavern. Okay. Alright, um, I guess we're doing the ice cavern. Oh, that's fine, whatever. I'll just do that, I'll just go ahead and do this. I'll just get a heart piece over here. Um, and he'll give us two things, actually. I completely forgot about the ice cavern. I need to stop saying that. I'm gonna go up there. there we go. Um, you can't climb out of all of these, but that's one of the ones you can, luckily. There's number two. Alright, whatever. Here is the ice cavern. I'm oh, having doing this out of order, but yeah. This is not a full fledged temple or dungeon, but it is a cavern. Well, it's, it's not a dungeon, but it is a temple. It's not a temple, but it is a dungeon. It is the area you have to go to before you can go into the water temple. These guys are annoying. And that is why. Is 
is actually what I did on my practice one also. I did the ice cream first because I got the bigger ones. Like we're putting the fire temple. Gold Hotel right here. So our Gold Hotel is in here. You gotta get these uh, silver rupees to open the door. I missed. <laughs> and you saw those flying pots, I'm assuming. Um, they don't really hurt that much. They're kind of pointless. You can actually duck under this. Yeah. If you're not targeting anything, you can duck under it by holding your shield out. Unfortunately, I targeted the middle of the room. I don't know how I didn't hit that. Oh, fire! Okay, that's an ice case. Gotcha. Along with these guys that use shot pulls right to them. I need my bottles. Did I drink the milk yet? No, but I have a fairy. Um... I'll go ahead and use my fairies. Fairy. I can only keep the bug. It's blue fire. It doesn't seem natural. Maybe you can use it for something. And you can some help of fire in a bottle. Tender logic. I mean to fall there. there. I'm not really getting on my bow and arrow because I need to do that. Or Oh, nice case. Yeah. Waste of magic, the ice case didn't come to me. Now they're over there. that bad, but it can be annoying if you don't know what you're doing. This room's actually easier, master quest. If I 
remember correctly. So I might not, but we'll see. Right, the reason Blue Fire is in this room is because one of these is actually inside Red Eyes. Around. Camera. Alright, fine. Oh, we just push this into the hole. There you go. Like this. Let's spawn a new one. Or that one was. Oh, he got. See, that makes no sense. Ice keys with blue fire. Freezes you when it touches you. It's an ice keys. But it has blue fire on its wings. The blue fire in this room is what turns them into ice keys. As I explained it when I was talking about fire, blue fire in the real world is hotter than red fire. But, I mean, yeah, Nintendo logic. Go figure. Alright, so I'll go to right here. I think there's three in here. This is one of them. my blue fire before I move on. Short jump gives you a little bit of extra distance. If need be. Camera's once again not clever. Uh push it. Spray. And then this way. And then over to the door. You don't have to get it exactly there, or it's possible to get up there without having it right in front of the door. Oh, it's easier for You're a jerk! Should blue fire to melt this? One jump attack takes him out. We get our dungeon item. It's actually an equipable item, not a C item, which is kind of annoying. You got the iron boots, so heavy you can't run, so heavy you can't float. His auras, you were wasted your time. This is all there is. With one exception, the Zoras are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. I managed to rescue the Zora Princess from under the ice, but she left the head for the water temple. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water temple is the source of the curse. Unless you shut off the source, the ice will never melt. If you have courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zoras, I will teach you the melody that leads to the temple. Time passes, people move, like a river's flow, it never ends. A childish mind will turn to a noble ambition. Young love will become deep affection, the clear water surface reflects growth. Now 
listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. You have learned the serenade of water. Bog, I'll see you again. Alright, now the thing about this game that's kind of annoying that they fixed in the DS version and also in Twilight Princess is that the iron boots are not a sea item. They are part of your equipment. <coughs> so to change your items, you have to go into the subscreen. Or to take them off and them on. I mean, it's, it's okay, but a lot of people find it really annoying. Personally, for my purposes, it is annoying because I'm using an emulator and this emulator does not like my subscreen. There's a, I just came out of that. Alright, we need to go back this way, actually. There's a door back here that we did not open. It contains a, a compass and a gold shelf on it. It's right here. <laughs> so in here, yeah, like I said, there's the uh, compass and a gold shelf on it. Also more blue fire, which we need. That was a regular piece. We don't need the compass only in anyway. Because why not? Why two kids to name it? Because why not? Because you speak more clearly. Possibly louder if you guys can hear me. So a heart piece in here that I forgot about. Good thing I checked because I knew mean, there was a ghost hole to lock right there. And I can't hit it from the side. I always forget about this heart piece. But I always remember the ghost hole to lock, so it's a good thing I remember one of them. <laughs> Number three. That's that's what almost hit me. All right, blue power one again. Now you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Grab another piece of another bottle of fire. Two. One for the king, one for the shop. Now the reason I'm getting it for the shop is to show you something that you should not do. I don't have enough rubies to do it anyway, so I can't do it. But in Goron City, they sell a fire tunic. The only reason you need to buy that is in case you get um, pulled in by a like like and lose your fire tunic and don't feel like like whatever. Reason. It costs 200 rupees. You can't buy it as a kid, they don't let you. Because you can't wear it. Even though you can have the adult wallet. Uh, I want to grab another heart piece. There's one down here at the bottom of the lake. You have to have the iron boots to get this. You can do it without the sword tunic though, because you can be underwater um, for a certain amount of time. It's like being in the inside death on a crater with the fire tunic. Timer starts when you hit... when she says... when Navi says that. The amount of time you have depends on your heart, just like with that mountain crater. This will be our 14th heart. Let me take off the boots. 
Now, the timer doesn't actually stop counting down until you reach the surface of the water. Link rises really slowly, and unlike in Mario Sunshine, standing against the wall does not change the uh, speed at which you rise or fall. And in Mario Sunshine, it's only fall anyway, so... Make sure you leave yourself enough time to get back to the surface. If you've done everything I have, then you should have enough you should have plenty of time. So we're gonna go down this way. <laughs> the same height, you can't hold that. Same height as on uh, the top of the mountain. Open up the shop here. As you can see, this is our tunic. 300 rupees. Okay, not 200. But yeah, the red tunic is 200. So our tunic is 300. Do not waste your money. Oh, I've come back to life. Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. Looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. With this, you won't choke underwater. We get this orange tunic for free! This diving suit is adult size, so it won't fit a kid. Wear it, and you won't drown underwater. Now, we have another reason that we're here. We're actually over time. Um, so I'll just get this and then we'll, we'll see in the next part, but, uh, where's the prescription? prescription right here. Actually, you know, we'll give it to him in the next part because we have a time limit on this. So next part, we'll finish the Bigger on Sword quest, and maybe, I don't want to show the temple in the next part, um, so that part will be a little bit shorter. But I'll see you guys then.